week nine of the fantasy football season. And here's a few defenses I would drop this week. The first one, the Cincinnati Bengals. So the Bengals had a great matchup on paper versus the New York Jets that give up the most fantasy points to defenses in week eight. But they didn't show up and do much in that ball game, obviously, with Cincinnati. Two sacks, two interceptions, a fumble recovery, and 34 points allowed. So they were added in 71% of fantasy leagues between week seven to week eight. But they got a mediocre matchup versus the Cleveland Browns. But after not performing versus a New York Jet team on the road, I just can't trust them. There's better options on the wire like I recommended in the other video. And right here, I would just drop Cincinnati. I can't trust them. And then they go on by in week 10. So this week, they're an easy drop at the defense a position. The second defense, the San Francisco 49ers. So the 49ers, they had a great matchup as well with the Chicago Bears in week 8. Who give up the third most fantasy points to defenses. But they didn't really show up. And do much in that ball game as well. 22 points allowed. Four sacks and an interception. And now in week 9 and week 10. Very two tough matchups coming up here. For this 49er defense. Week 9 they versus the Arizona Cardinals. Who obviously we know is one of the best. Offenses. In all of pro football. And then week 10 they versus the Los Angeles Rams as well. Who's up there as one of the best offenses. It's always going to be tough matchups. And versus weaker offenses than those teams. Their defense didn't show up and do much. In my opinion. And right now they're still owned in 86% of fantasy leagues. But that number should go way down. With these two tough matchups coming up. And the defense not really doing much. For a big fantasy day. Since week 2 with Philly. And the third and final defense. I would drop this week's the Seattle Seahawks. So the Seattle Seahawks. They were a one week ad on the wire for week 8. And they... Played up to expectations and had a great ball game. Seven points allowed, a sack, an interception, a return touchdown, and three fourth down stops versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. But now they go on by in week nine in Seattle, and their defense hasn't been a good unit pretty much all year. And they got two tough matchups coming up as well after the bye week. Week 10 at Green Bay and week 11 versus Arizona. So right now there's no need to stash Seattle on your team, and they're just not a great defense. Once the tougher matchups, like I mentioned, come in, their defense, that's probably going to be in the bottom five in points for a few weeks in a row in fantasy football. So that's a few defenses I would drop here in week nine of the fantasy football season.